many hunters this time of year might be looking ahead to that perfect set of horns or antlers. And while some people may think horn and antler mean the same thing, they actually have distinct differences. So joining us now with more on this is Monica McCubrey with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Thanks for being here today, Monica. Thank you for having me. So yeah, I know there are a lot of hunters out there right now. Um, deer season underway. Yep. So let's talk about antlers and you brought some examples. Here. Yeah, so antlers and horns are very different. As you can see, they look different. Mm -hmm. um, different types of animals have them. So animals in the what's called cervidae family, so like the deer, um, the elk, the moose, mm -hmm. have what we call antlers. So they're branching, they come off, they're shed every year. Um, they have the velvet on them that makes them um, get those nutrients and the blood vessels to them. So they look very different from something like a bighorn sheep, for instance. So these are shed every year. Some can get quite large. How yeah. does that happen then? Um, it's all their hormones. So the pituitary hormones and the um, uh, different types of hormones that run through their body just make them grow larger. So wow. those animals have very good genes is yeah. what, we're, what we're saying. And that's what hunters are typically after. Are Usually, yes. <laughs> okay, um, so let's talk now about the horn versus the antler. Yeah, so in Nebraska, um, what, like a bighorn sheep would be a great example of this, but these are the bovidae family. So anything like cows, uh, sheep, goats are gonna have a horn. So they have a single point on them. Um, they're not uh, branched like an antler would be. And normally they grow throughout the life of the animal. Animal. They're not shed every year like oh. an antler would be. Oh, so they'll have these forever then? Yes, and they will continuously grow, which is nice because they continuously use them and they kind of get worn down after a while. Okay, so um, there are some animals though that don't follow the rules of this. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so one of them, Nebraska, we're pretty lucky. We have the pronghorn. Um, sometimes people call them pronghorn antelope. So these guys are the single family of what's called the antilocapridae. Um, so they're kind of weird in itself, but they have characteristics of both horns and antlers. So they are shed every year, um, but they are branched, which is uh, different than most other horns, for instance, or antlers would be. So. Okay. And these will last forever, right? Um, or no. What yeah. do you mean by forever? Well, like, <laughs> let's say a hunter wants to, you know, oh, put yes. this up on the wall. They I mean, should last a very long time, a very yes. Long if time. they're taken care of and they're stored correctly and the taxidermy is done correctly, yes, they should last quite a while to remember. Wow, okay, so here in our state, what kind of horns, antlers do we find? Um, you could find mostly just the antlers. You're gonna find either whitetail or mule deer, or if you're lucky, sometimes you might find an elk, especially in western Nebraska. Mm -hmm. um, those are mostly the antlers that you're okay. gonna find for shed hunting. Okay, yeah. perfect, a busy time of year. What do you have going on uh, with you? Um, we just have a lot of stuff going on. We're planning for next year, of course, and then also doing stuff like this and doing a lot of workshops this weekend. So. A lot of workshops. Okay, yeah. perfect. If people want to learn more about horns, antlers, or what you do, where can they go? Yeah, you can go to OutdoorNebraska.gov and then you can search horns, antlers, you can search different types of animals, lots of different things. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I know I've been seeing some pictures of some really, <laughs> yes. impressive, really impressive ones this year. Yes, so. there are. Okay, Monica, thank you. Thank you so much.